Topic of our lesson today is uh, very simple and rather quick. So it's not going to take us a long time, but it's a very important thing to, uh, to discuss. It's called the wide range reversal pattern. And um, I'm always surprised that um, uh, traders are not really that much familiar with that. And this is something that I want to go through very quickly. It's not going to be a long lesson. It's going to be a rather short lesson. So what I'm referring to is that uh, the fact that there are several type of reversals. Of course, the main reversal you may know. That would be like the main reversal. The main reversal pattern would be support and resistance. There's uh, possibly, ex excuse the way I painted, okay, but there's supposed to be um, supposed to be resistance here at the top, uh, support here at the bottom, and that's a very good reason for a reversal. So if the price is moving down and coming upon a point of support, it is expected to reverse. So is the case with reversal. That has to do with with uh, resistance. That has to do, of course, with uh, areas where you will find a lot of buyers or a lot of sellers. So if the price comes down uh, even further and uh, recently there was some kind of uh, uh, support, you may expect it at that point to bounce up, uh, meaning that would be another support right over here. So that's the main support and resistance issues that we usually discuss, we usually follow, but there's one that we don't usually talk about much, uh, but it is a very, very important one. Um, well, a spinning top uh, doji could be, of course, at uh, the end of any reversal, but that, that is not the issue. So the issue here is to talk about another reversal, which is a wide range uh, reversal pattern or actually exhaustion. So if I'm painting, let me just paint the following uh, uh, the following uh, chart. Let's just see, let's just talk about the price uh, candles moving up and then all of a sudden there's a big wide range candle and of course it's not just enough to discuss this, we also need to discuss the volume because the volume is the key issue here. So let's just assume that this is here the volume and all of a sudden, at the point where we have the wide range candle, we have an extended volume bar, something like this. So if I'm going to present this picture uh, to somebody who's not very familiar in trading, uh, first, of course, we can see that we have a trend. The trend is up very clearly. And then if I would present, present this to a new trader, if you would have presented this to me when I was a new trader and I would look at this chart, I would definitely say, oh my God, things are getting strong. The market's looking at market or specific stock is getting stronger and stronger. We're actually moving higher. We're moving higher with more volume. Therefore, the trend should continue and we should get uh, new highs. And this looks like Everybody is now buying, therefore we should continue higher. Well, wrong. Uh, it is a very simple pattern, but it actually shows of a potential reversal of usually, uh, I mean, when I say potential, it's like a 90% chance of reversal, which is a very, very strong reversal. It has nothing to do with support or resistance. It has to do with exhaustion. It has to do with the volume. It has to do with the fact that there's a wide range bar there and therefore it's very, very likely to reverse and come down. So when I'm seeing a reversal pattern like this, when I'm seeing a wide range candle like this, I'm actually expecting the price to start coming down, not necessarily crash down or anything like that, but definitely I'm expecting it to come down and have the reversal. And again, if I would have asked somebody who doesn't know much about trading about this candle over here with the high volume, the answer I'm going to get, yes, it's probably going to continue. Wrong. Price is about to change. And um, the question, of course, is, uh, is why? Why does it change? Um, well, um, th there's a several reasons, of course. I mean, the main reason is exhaustion. There are more and more buyers who push the price up. And actually what we're seeing here is that there's nobody left. 
So we're seeing, we're looking at a, at, at, at a pattern that shows that the buyers came in and since the high volume exists over here, and that, that, that means that there's no more buyers or if there are more buyers, they're not strong enough to push the price to a new high. So it may happen that there will be another move, but then you need to check it very clearly to see the volume return. So it is very likely that the next volume bars are going to be rather small, something like that. But if the volume is going to remain small and we're going to get back to the highs, we're not very likely to move up to a new high unless we're going to see very high volume returning. And this may happen. This may happen. I'm going to show you an example that happened today. That's what reminded me of this reversal pattern that, uh, uh, as, again, should be discussed. So I'm looking at, the reverse, at this reversal pattern and, again, uh, seeing price move, higher, wider range candle, high volume, and then a very uh, high chance of uh, reversal. Now, the same applies, of course, when the price is coming down. So if you're going to see normal or small range candles and there all of a sudden comes a very big wide range candle and, of course, at that point, the volume should be extended. Let's say this is the volume bar and, uh, well, excuse me, let me paint that again. So if you're going to see small candles, coming down and then a wide range candle and you look at the volume and the volume starts very small could be growing of course but then you see at a certain point you'll see a very high extended wide range uh, sorry strong volume bar and then possibly lower volume bars then it is very very likely that you're going to see a reversal meaning the price will move up and uh, if you ask yourself, uh, where's the last time we've seen that? Well, let's go to what happened today. That's the Nasdaq. And I'm watching right now the way the Nasdaq behaved. And that is a very, very clear reversal pattern that uh, is exactly what I just uh, mentioned. Well, of course, they don't always come the exact same way. But take a good look at what happened today. We're seeing the market coming down. At that point, I was really expecting the market to stop. Why? Because it moved down approximately 0.3%, which is quite a lot for the S&P or for the Nasdaq. It happened the same in the S&P. It's a little bit more clearer in the Nasdaq. So it moved down. At that point, I was expecting it to stop. But look at what happened. Look at this continuation. And then market came down very, very strong. Now look at this wide range candle, very, very wide range candle. And look at the volume here. Look at what happened in this volume. Now, there was a continuation, but also a bottoming tail. So this wide range candle, in fact, continue a bit farther. This is a five minute candle. Uh, when I say a wide range candle, then it could have moved into the six minutes, for example. It does not necessarily has to be uh, restricted to the first five minute candle. So as you can see, a part of the second candle was down and then we came up, but again, what you need to see here is this wide range candle and then the extended volume bar. That's a great indication of a reversal. Can there be a new low? There was a new low. Was there a high volume? Yes, there was high volume coming into this new low. So this is very rare what you're seeing here. You're seeing here a reversal pattern. First of all, there was a reversal. Even this small green candle here is a reversal. There could have been a continuation. There was a very small continuation. This is, in fact, another very strong reversal pattern, which is not our uh, topic of our lesson today. This is another small reversal pattern which, uh, in which you can see that the market moved to a new low. When the market is moving, not necessarily the market, whatever I'm saying, when I'm mentioning the market right now, I'm talking about the NASDAQ 100. It doesn't necessarily need to be the NASDAQ 100. It could be any stock that you're watching. So if you see a stock moving down to a new low, or in this case, the Nasdaq moving to a new low, and then you see a bottoming tail at a new low, you know, when you get a new low, especially with high volume, you expect the, the, the price to crash down. That did not happen. In fact, you're seeing immediately a bottoming tail 
and some upside movement. When you see something like this happens, you don't have to wait until it comes all the way down here to understand that you've seen the law of the day. Very likely you've seen the law of the day. Never is 100%. You can definitely expect a, a move to a new law, a failure to move to a new law. When, when you, again, there's a nice bear flag, a nice continuation from here, and then you expect it to continue, but it does not, and you see a bottoming tail, then you probably have seen the law of the day. Uh, I remember saying that today in the trading room, this was approximately when I stopped trading today, somewhere around here I stopped trading today, but I mentioned before I go, I mentioned before I went, I, I mentioned that I don't expect the market to move down or continue moving down. It could happen, of course, but if it will, well, I don't trust it. I wouldn't trust it. Therefore, I would probably expect it to just go sideways or even pull back up, which is what happened. Of course, I'm not always right. Uh, I'm wrong many times, but I'm right more than 50% of the time. Why? Not because I kind of see the future. It's because I know these patterns. I've seen like, uh, I've seen these patterns uh, thousands of times and uh, these patterns are very, very strong. So again, there are two patterns here. One is the wide range candle that is coming down, and then the continuation of the second candle, and the high volume. And what you need to understand is that at this point, really, what happened here is that everybody who wanted to sell or to short were shorting or selling at these candles, at these two candles. So, in fact, what we are seeing here, the high volume means that there's no new players to move the market to a new law. And if there are, it's going to be a very tough job for them. A very tough job. And they failed. So you see, they tried to take it to a new law and they failed, which is very, very likely because after a big move like that and a very wide range and a very high volume, then the move to a new law is... Well, you need a very strong downside day and many people to continue selling today and possibly very bad news or something like that for this to continue. So it's more likely for the market to stop. So again, if you see a very uh, large extended wide range candle with high volume, there's nobody else to sell. I'm of course exaggerating here. Uh, of course, there are more people to sell, but most of the work was done with this candle. Most of the work has been done with this candle. And that means that it is very, very likely to change direction. So again, the same idea when the market is moving down or it's moving up. So whatever we just saw, I mean, this was an example from today, but whatever we've seen today, this could be the exact opposite when we're moving higher, but it would be the same thing. So just imagine this, the opposite of what we're seeing here. Imagine that we, you're seeing the price moving up. Imagine that you're seeing a wide range candle at the top. What does it mean? A wide range candle with a lot of uh, buyers. It means that there's no more buyers out there. That most of the work, work was done within this single volume. So it just means that it's most probably going to start drifting low prices, more likely to start drifting lower than after most of the work has been done in one single candle. So there's, and, and again, there's two things here that which you, you, should, you should remember from this lesson. Once, one is the wide range candle with the high volume. And then this, this move to a new low and again, when you move to a new law, you expect a breakdown. We would usually short something that looks like that. But be careful before you do that to look for the high volume before and see if there was a wide range candle and then a breakdown to a new law. Because, um, well, let me give you an example here. Let's just imagine that this bear flag formation was over here. Okay, actually it was here, look. <laughs> Price came down, bear flag, breakdown. You want to short this, right? I mean, technically, you want to short something like this. Of course, you don't want to short it when the market is up like that. Maybe you do, you know, the S&P 500 moving into the gap, closing the gap. You want to play this gap uh, close here. This could have been a nice trade. Okay, so let's just look at this pattern here for a second. Coming down, not a huge downside. Um, uh, it doesn't look anything like this one. Coming down. Uh, consolidating a bit, a nice bear flag formation, a breakdown, you can short it. But 
if you see the market extended as you do right over here and a wide range candle fall before, uh, which follows a few small range candle narrow range candles and you see the high volume then you shouldn't short when the stock or the market in this case the Nasdaq moves to a new low you should not because the chance of that to succeed is relatively very low so uh, that's it that was our mentoring session for today thank you very much for being here with me today and don't forget to sign up to the world's greatest ever trading competition the world series of day trading which starts very soon you can sign up on www.worldseriesdaytrading.com or below this video there is a link where you can sign up and here's the official video world series of day trading you've read and heard about it everywhere now let me tell you what it's all about The World Series of Day Trading is the largest, most important, and most dominant trading-related competition in the world. Every few months, the day trading community holds its breath for six trading days to see who is the leading talent in the world of trading. Each competitor gets a $240,000 demo account to trade with for the six trading days. The goal is to reach the end of the competition with the highest account balance and without getting eliminated. Each competitor must trade on at least four active trading days out of the six, and you're not allowed to hold any position overnight. On a given trading day, you may not lose more than $3,500, and you can't be down more than $12,000 at any point in the competition. If you reach the max loss, you are automatically eliminated. It's an open competition, and anyone can apply whether you have many years of track record in the market or very little experience. While we are powered by TradeNet, you can apply regardless of where you obtained your education and irrespective of the trading platform you use. The prizes for the champion and the runners-up are fantastic. The champion wins a $240,000 funded account access plus a $6,000 TradeNet voucher. Each one of the top 20 traders wins access to a funded account. The total funded account access fund surpasses $3 million. You need to know that as a competitor, you deserve to be a part of a team. Your team leader will guide you throughout the series, so it's better if you follow him and his social media channel closely. As a team member, you also enjoy the internal competition with your teammates. The best trader in your team wins an $80,000 funded account value, while the two runner-ups gets a $14,000 funded account access. Your team is also competing with the other teams, so if your team is among the top three, then the leading players on your team can get even larger prizes. Got more questions? That's okay. Fill in the details below, and we will get back to you shortly to explain. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now.